1223 this afternoon and we're tracking some showers and thunderstorms in parts of the valley. This is an eastern Willisie County. This thunderstorm continued to move off towards the northwest, bringing in some lightning and some heavy rain towards San Perlita and also some showers right now in northern Mexico. Those showers are going to try to sneak in to parts of the mid valley this afternoon and take a look at future track. It's hinting at some sea breeze activity the rest of this afternoon, but showers kind of diminishing by the uh, sunset time and we're looking at partly cloudy conditions the rest of the night tomorrow another slight chance of rain but it looks like less widespread showers and thunderstorms tomorrow it looks like maybe mainly dry uh, and for tonight and for the rest of the day actually looking at temperatures around 93 degrees in McAllen 89 right now in Wessico and Harlingen 91 in Brownsville here are today's temperatures 99 degrees for Rio Grande City 97 your high from McAllen 95 in Wessico 94 in Harlingen a little cooler at the coast 89 degrees in South Padre Island partly cloudy skies and isolated showers and thunderstorms possible the rest of this afternoon overnight lows today in the mid to upper 70s partly to mostly clear conditions and the tropics are actually really active today. We're looking at four systems, three tropical storms in the Atlantic Basin and one tropical disturbance near the Yucatan Peninsula. That system has a 20% chance of development over the next five days and it will track westward into the western Gulf of Mexico, impacting the northeastern Mexican coastline. And check, take a look at the temperatures in the Gulf waters around 86 degrees. So it has a lot of warm water to go over. It also has less wind shear over the next couple of days. So we're gonna keep tracking that and see what happens with that system, but it'll probably stay well south of the valley. We're also tra tracking tropical storm Lorenzo that continues to move towards the west and eventually will make a northward track and become a category three hurricane, but that will impact basically nobody out in the uh, northern Atlantic. Also, Tropical Storm Jerry has a winds of 60 miles per hour, will impact Bermuda this week by Thursday, and uh, it will probably become a tropical depression by this weekend. And we also have Tropical Storm Karen making landfall right now as we speak in the eastern part of the uh, Puerto Rican island. That continues to move off towards the north with winds of 40 miles per hour, and it will eventually stall on Thursday morning and then kind of make a westward turn by this weekend. So we're definitely going to keep an eye on that, but it looks like the European model that was showing that system kind of making its way into the Gulf of Mexico yesterday is now backing off. So that's pretty good news for us. And right now we're also looking at a little bit of a disturbance moving over the area right now. That's why we're looking at rain chances today. Another tropical wave in the center of the Gulf of Mexico pushing off towards the west the next few days. That's going to enhance our rain chances for next weekend. There's a big ridge of high pressure in the southern United States that's kind of um, steering all the showers and tropical moisture uh, over our area the next few days. That's why we're looking at rain chances each day. But rain chances remain a little low. 30% for today, mainly dry tomorrow, 20% chance for Thursday and Friday. And then we'll see those rain chances kind of go back up for the weekend as we see that tropical wave uh, pushing towards the western parts of of the Gulf of Mexico. At the bay, winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 knots, so seas 2 to 4 feet, isolated showers and thunderstorms at the coast. 96 for today, partly cloudy, spotty showers and thunderstorms again, 75 for tonight, clear to partly cloudy, winds out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at your first warm 5 AccuWeather 7 day forecast. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 90s each and every day, mostly sunny conditions by Wednesday. It's going to be mainly dry on Wednesday and then for Thursday, partly cloudy. Then that rain chance returns for Friday temperatures in the mid 90s 96 degrees look at that overnight low 73 for Friday so it's a little bit cooler at the night then we'll start to see those uh, low temperatures kind of go back up with a slight chance of thunderstorms for the weekend that's a complete look at your forecast Dina